Hi, welcome back to Detailer World. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at a couple of new products from Autoglim and that is the UHD ceramic coating and we're also going to be taking a quick look at the new Polar Blast snow foam lens. You may have seen recently on social media then Autoglim have released a new product over the Polar series range and that is the Polar Blast, the snow foam lens. So it's quite a nice looking lens. I love the purple accents. It fits the uh, whole series, the Polar range quite well. It comes, basically you just need to do a bit of pre-assembly. This is your first snow foam lens comes in a box just like this, you just have to put a pipe on the end, which obviously is supplied in the box, and screw that on. One thing I also like, and it works great for me, it's already got a quick release fitment on here, but then they also supplied in the box a quick release um, adapter onto a Karcher lance. And I assume that's because Karcher pressure washers are possibly the most common to be used for home users, really. Another quick thing to note on here as well, is the little markings on the back here, tells you the dilution ratios of the Polar Series products. So your Polar Blast, one to five, Polar Wash, one to one, and Polar Seal, 40 mil to 200 mil of water. I would have liked to see markings on here, but it's really hard to measure 40 mil in a bottle like that. But yeah, the instructions are there, so you just need a jug or something like that. And then possibly the biggest product announcement they've released recently is the UHD ceramic coating products. So in this kit here, you get a preparation, which I imagine is probably similar to a panel wipe or something. I'm not quite sure of the makeup of it, but that's the preparation. So you give your car a clean, a polish, and then you use this to make sure there's no oils, no existing waxes or anything on the car. And then you've got your ceramic coating, which you would apply afterwards as well. They have supplied everything that you need, so you've got a nice big applicator there to apply the ceramic coating with, and in a nicely packaged box here, you've got a couple of cloths. Green one is for the preparation stage, and the red one is for buffing off the ceramic product. So yeah, before we get on to using this, then we need to give the car a quick clean then, so you need to ensure you're working on a nice clean car, and ideally one that's been polished, because you are applying a ceramic coat in here. The price for this is $59.99, so call it 60 quid. That's according to Autoglim's website, so you may find offers on the high street. And durability on this product is expected to last around 12 months. Once you've applied this product, it does say on the instructions you need to leave it dry and in a dust-free environment for at least four hours. So yeah, we're gonna crack on and clean the car today, get it into the garage, and then we'll get this applied and see how we get on. So yeah, let's quickly clean the car. Okay, so that's car all clean and ready now. So I've just polished the bonnet because I'm only going to be testing this on the bonnet today. I've just not got the time to polish the entire car and test the ceramic coating. That takes four hours to cure in one day. If I'd have known yesterday was going to be a better day, I'd have bought it up yesterday to basically get all the polishing work done then. However, with that said, this product is going to be aimed more at the consumer grade rather than the professional grade. There's nothing on the box saying it has to be applied by professional or anything like that. So you can only assume that any Joe Blogs can go and spend £60 and apply this to the car. Now, is the general public going to be machine polishing the car? Probably not. The same may be said that they may not even apply this product. £60 for Joe Blogs is a lot to spend on a product that they may not fully understand. But if you are going to be applying this product all over your car, then of course you really want to machine polish the entire car first to make sure it's all ready. So you really want to do this over the course of a weekend for the best results um, out of this product. So then, as mentioned earlier, the kit then comes with two products. So you've got the UHD preparation, which I believe is going to be like an IPA panel wipe kind of product. You apply this all over the car, all over the panel, do one panel at a time, 
and it quickly evaporates off, removes any oils, any existing waxes, and any products that may be on there that affects the adhesion of the UHD ceramic coating. So yeah, you wanna go around it with this thoroughly using the green cloth that's provided in the kit. Once you've then got the panel prepped and ready using the UHD preparation, you then want to get out the UHD ceramic coating. There's not a lot in here. If you've ever used this before, you don't need a lot. Now, most ceramic coating bottles come in around about 30 mil quantities, enough to do one car. This is 100 mil. This is a lot of product for 60 pounds. And you apply this just by putting a line on the applicator and you just go in straight lines across a panel at a time. You can then go cross hatch if you wish just to make sure you've got full even coverage. It does recommend that in warmer weather, it takes about one to two minutes to cure and in cooler weather, sort of three to four minutes to cure. So yeah, it's not gonna take as long to apply this to the bonnet today. Uh, it's just the four hour wait time after. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna do some hand polishing on the other work. So as I said earlier in the video, you need to be doing this indoors if possible. You need to keep any moisture off the car. So we've got a nice dry day today. You also need to keep it dust free. You don't want any dust settling into the ceramic coating as that may bond into the layer and it could sit there for basically a year until you have to remove it again. So yeah, with that out of the way, we'll uh, crack on and get the preparation stage done. Okay, so first of all, you need to get your bottle of UHD preparation and the green cloth that comes in the pack as well. There's a tag on here. It's nice to know it's come from Auto Glim, but that's coming straight off. There's no need for that tag. You don't want it marring or scratching the paintwork. So as always, just fold this into quarters, first of all. And then just we'll just give it a quick dust down using this. There's not much dust on it, I've already uh, Got the panel ready, but just final wipe. Bit of a shake. Childproof lid. Push down. Twist. There we go. Fact, what I'm going to do with this, let me just pull that down. Fold it into quarters, and then we'll fold it in half again. So we've got eight or maybe 16 sides to work with. <laughs> I can't remember now. Um, so yeah, here we go. Um, sorry, I keep saying it We'll just apply a bit of that. You don't want to saturate it too much, just a small bit like that. And just work this into the panel just to remove any oils. And then we'll flip it over uh, to reveal a fresh side, just to wipe it off really. And you can see where you're applying this actually. It's uh, quite a nice product, this. This smells familiar. Apologies for the sirens there. This smells familiar like another Autoglin product. But yeah, essentially what this is doing is removing any oils, greases, any possible waxes. So just give your car a really good going over with this. And uh, yeah, you'll have a nice, perfectly clean panel. You have to remember some polishers do leave behind fillers and oils and glazes, depending on what products you're using. So that's looking nice and almost all evaporates. So just flip it over to a clean side and just uh, help that evaporate off. If you have a torch handy, you can just double check as well that there's no none of this left on. As I said, it would all evaporate anyway, but it's nice just to know you've removed it all. So that's that half done. And let's move on to the other half. Again, all you need is a little bit just like that. Not too much at all. In fact, that may even be too much for just half a bonnet. But as I keep saying, this product will be designed at your Joe blogs, at the average person just popping into the high street shops and able to pick this up off the shelf. Um, you'd like to think really though it's 60 pound. If anyone's gonna be buying this, they'll have a bit of an interest into detailing, may have done a bit of polishing before. Um, so yeah, you don't have to be certified or a, prof a professional to apply this but it does help to have a basic knowledge really of, of ceramics or at least detailing in general. So here we are and this, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold again or runny nose at the very least. Now that looks nice. And again, we'll just get the torch. It's over the other side again. Oh, there we go. And we've got it. I just double check that's all evaporated. This paint's looking mint for once. So yes, and um, we'll uh, crack on with the ceramic coating in a moment. So before we go ahead and apply the ceramic, now the panel's all prepared. If this is your first time using a product like this, first you wanna give the bottle a shake as you do with any chemicals. And then the applicator, if you've never used one of these applicators, we'll just bring that in. 
we've got a firmer side and a spongy side it's the spongy side that you're using to apply the product and what you want to do with this is apply a line of product down there and i think that'll probably do half the bonnet we'll uh, we'll get in in a minute and have a look um so yeah just apply a line down there and then just apply it in nice straight lines and so you can cross that it at the end and then you want to buff it off with when i find which pocket i put it in the red cloth that they supply again there's a tag there we'll tear that off in a moment so yeah let's give this a try we can hear that wind coming now so i'll just put the applicator there really you don't you don't want to apply this the applicator over the bonnet of a car but yeah we just put a line of this product just down there like so keep that out of the way and then we'll start in the middle and work in straight lines Overlapping straight lines is your best bet. This is going on very, very nice. Really is. If you just apply even pressure as well with your hand, you don't have to push down. It's just to get even contact with the applicator onto the panel. And then as I say, you can go cross hatch as well if you wish just to make sure I've got full even coverage. And this feels nice and smooth going on, it really does. Oh, lovely, absolutely lovely. And go back up here again, just to make sure we got all that. So we'll get this half, well, we'll, we'll do the other half now. So again, apply a little bit to your pad don't really need too much this time because I've already loaded it up from the other half and uh, again just start in the middle and we'll work in straight lines all the way down the bonnet and so you don't really need to push down too hard just apply firm or even pressure rather and just cover the entire panel with this I say so you do this one panel at a time allow one to two minutes in warmer weather for it to cure and in cooler weather such as today it is oh, it's the first of march actually uh just allow sort of three to four minutes you don't want to do this in too colder conditions because that really kind of affect the cure time so yeah let's just uh, finish in this direction and we'll buff the lot off Okay, so it's been sort of three or four minutes now. It does look like a lot of it has actually evaporated away. So what we're gonna do is take this red cloth, find the tag and tear that straight off. So you don't need that. And then we'll uh, just fold this into quarters and we'll buff. So again, just gentle pressure. You don't wanna induce any scratches, marring or anything like that. And uh, yeah, just buff off any excess if there is any. And then flip that over. One final wipe down. So that is looking lovely. In a moment, we'll get the torch back out. In fact, we'll do that now and just double check. Just make sure you've not left any product on. You don't want to notice little spots. It could be there, you know, until it's next removed. So it could be on there for a year. So you really don't want to be living with that. We'll just buff off the other side. See, I've just fold to a clean side that you've not used. And we'll buff this side off as well. Again, it, it does say it should evaporate itself off, which it pretty much has done, to be fair. It's just a case of making sure there's no excess product remaining behind. Let's flip that back over. And I'll uh, take a look at the time in a moment, because you have to leave it at least four hours, so you can do this last off. And leave it overnight if you wish so it's almost one o'clock we'll come back to this at about five o'clock this evening so that's the ceramic coating all applied then and it is as easy as that really going around the the biggest part is the prep stage so the machine polishing and all of that you can put ceramic coating over swirl marks if you wish however just be aware that if you ever want to fix those swirl marks you then need to remove the ceramic coating first so it's always a good idea to get the prep work done in the first place and then ceramic coat it just to give it a really good look for you know for at least 12 months that's what the claim is from autoglim 
So as I said several times, an auto glim do advise that it needs at least four hours to fully cure. If you can leave it overnight, that'd be even better. If not, four hours is the minimum it needs. You don't want to get it wet in that four hours or really get too much dust on it. You can do some other work around the car if you wish while the ceramic is all curing. However, just be mindful of what you're doing. You don't want to be doing any jobs that's going to be kicking up dust or spraying chemicals that may get onto the paintwork with ceramic coating. So I'm just going to be like hand polishing the back of the car and applying wax to the rest of it. Like I said, I've not got time to machine polish the entire car. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a cleanse and apply some wax, something not too dusty. First of all though, I'm going to make myself something to eat and then take the dog a walk. So we'll get back to you shortly. Right, so here we are then, four hours later, and the car has had its ceramic coating applied onto the bonnet using the Auto Glim UHD ceramic coating. The rest of the car has been treated with Dodo Juice Lime Prime by hand and also Yum's ceramic spray just to give it some protection around the rest of the car. So yeah, we'll just grab the hose pipe and we'll get out there and just check out the beading and the sheeting properties of this, uh, of this ceramic then. So here we are then with the bonnet all nicely shiny and looking clean and we're just gonna test the beading properties first of all. Let's just pull on a bit more of a jet. <laughs> and of course, let's not forget to test how well it sheets. That's pretty much dried itself, that. <laughs> So let's just bring the camera around to the other side. So again with the beading. And that rolls off nicely. And then as always the sheeting test. Because obviously this makes drying the car a hell of a lot easier once you've done with the wash stage. So that is absolutely spot on. Right, so there we have it then. Apologies that this video turned out to be a little bit longer than I expected, but I just wanted to make sure I covered everything in regards to ceramic coating, particularly if you're watching this and you've never used it before. So we started off with then the Polar Blaster, which is Auto Glim's new snow foam lance. And just having this wide mouth opening here just makes it so much easier to mix up your products. So you can easily get in 500 ml of water and then whatever the dilution ratio you're using for the snow foam or the polar seal or whatever product you may want to put through this it's just easy to fill that up so that was really really enjoyable to use that so moving on to the uhd ceramic coating then it's really well presented i do like the packaging that it comes in and it's really really nice and easy to use so again if this is your first time using one of these kind of products it's not as daunting as you may think it'll be as long as you don't over apply it and as I say, all you need to do is put a line down the applicator and apply that to the panel and then just apply the product to the panel in straight lines go up and down and then side to side in a cross hatch motion just to make sure you've got full and even coverage and it, just like it says in the instructions it will all evaporate within just a couple of minutes so as i say if it's quite warm one to two minutes and if it's a bit cooler three to four minutes and that's exactly what happened and then just use that red cloth just to buff off any excess so nice and easy then it's just one of those once you've done it leave it in the garage and forget about it until later in the evening or the next morning 
So I hope you find this video useful then. If you have, please make sure to smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, please do consider subscribing as well. It doesn't cost you anything and it really does help us out as well. Also, make sure to check us out on Instagram. We're on there as Detailing World Official. And if you want to see all the behind the scenes and the pictures that I post on there as I'm doing these reviews and tests, you can check me out on there as Brendan Lissette. As always, thanks again to Autoglim for supplying these products. And we'll see you in the next video.